Our vision is a, is a window to our brain. Our vision is a sense that we prize the most. Um, you know, if you lost your sense of smell, yeah, you know, you're probably okay with it. Like you had a cold, you start losing your vision all of a sudden, like that sets off panic. And so we can eat to preserve our vision. There are foods that are now known to be very important to contain the secret sauce to helping us preserve our vision. And by preserving our vision, as it turns out, the research is showing it also helps to preserve our brain function, our cognition. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. Doctor, William Lee has just illuminated how our eyes serve as a window to the brain, emphasizing the importance of eating to preserve our vision. He describes foods as the secret sauce to maintaining eye health and overall well-being. Let's take a moment to introduce Dr. William Lee, a renowned physician, scientist, and author. Dr. Lee is a leading figure in the field of medical research, particularly known for his forward-thinking work on the role of diet in disease prevention. His book, Eat to Beat Disease, has inspired countless individuals to look at food in a new light as powerful medicine that can transform health. Next, Dr. Lee will explore the intricate relationship between vision and the brain. He will share how specific foods can not only protect our eyes but also support brain health, reinforcing the idea that what we eat profoundly impacts our overall well-being. Stay with us to learn more about these fascinating connections and how you can harness the power of nutrition to enhance both your vision and brain function. Oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Your vision. If you think about general health as something that you that many people take for granted until you start to lose it, and that's all you can think about. So to within health, our vision health, it's part of who we are every single day until you start having problems. Then you're like, wait a minute, what's going on? Uh, I can't see as well. So I'm a scientist. I'm a, uh, what we call a vascular biologist. So I study blood vessels. And blood vessels are connecting every single organ in your body, uh, from your mouth to your brain, to your eyes, to your heart, to your lung, and your livers. And so the idea of food being something, our nutrients being delivered from what we eat through our bloodstream to our eye is absolutely vital for the ongoing health of our vision and to prevent vision loss. And I'll come back to that, talk about how do we do that. I'm internal medicine. And what that means is that I take care of uh, men and women, young and old, healthy and sick. And because vision is one of my passions and brain health is something that I'm intensely interested in and have actually been working on from a dementia perspective, from a cognition perspective. Listen, anybody who's sort of our age range probably knows, if not our direct parents, then the parents of our friends, our good friends, who are actually struggling with, you know, the cognitive and functional issues of aging. This is uh, something that my research has actually been directly influencing. And because the eye is connected to the brain uh, uh, from a visual signal perspective, this is why what protects the eye also protects the brain. Why the eye, in fact, is a window into some of the problems of the brain. And most doctors don't look in the eye. Only an ophthalmologist really does that. So, and, and again, I'm internal medicine, so I cover the whole. Thing. I became a foodist medicine researcher because I have a background doing medical therapy development, as you actually mentioned in my intro. Um, I was looking at blood vessels as a common denominator of disease. And by looking at ways to wrangle the common denominator, you know, like what is it that underlies, connects all these different diseases from vision loss to cognitive dysfunction, dementia, to obesity, to diabetes, to cancer, to heart disease? Well, it turns out to be blood vessels. And so what I did is I did a deep dive into this space to ask what medical treatments, biotech treatments can we actually um, uh, wrangle, can maneuver, help produce, squeeze out uh, using innovation. And that became such a successful uh, enterprise. I then started to ask, well, you know, what happens if we start throwing food into the same system? And so we started throwing food and food extracts into these drug development systems to help keep blood vessels healthy, including vision. I found that about 50% of the foods that we were actually testing were as or more potent than the drugs that we were developing. And so I'm one of the OGs when it comes to food as medicine. And I love to talk about it because while treatments, you know, you write a prescription as a doctor for people, you know, it's the right drug for the right person at the right time, but not, it's not, it, not everyone can get the treatments they need. 
Food as medicine is something that we do for ourselves. It's very empowering that we can actually, you know, use knowledge, modern knowledge, to be able to make those daily decisions that can actually help prevent disease. So you don't need the doctor to do that intervention. Or if you're actually having the doctor do the intervention, you can actually do something for yourself in addition to what the prescription actually does. So this all kind of comes all the way, comes all the way down to the fact that Dr. William Lee has just shared with us the crucial role that blood vessels play as common detonators of disease. His passion for brain health and vision is evident, as he emphasizes that our eyes are the windows to the brain, providing vital clues to its health. By understanding this connection, we can take proactive steps to protect our brain health through the foods we eat. Dr. Lee's insights reveal that food can be more than just sustenance. It can be as potent as medicine, with the potential to prevent diseases. He reminds us that we have the power to make a significant impact on our health by choosing the right foods. Next, Dr. Lee will delve deeper into the concept of food as medicine, focusing specifically on how certain foods can enhance our vision and protect our eyes. Stay tuned to discover how you can take care of your eyesight with the right nutritional choices. For vision, one of the most profound clinical studies, biggest clinical studies, on food and health was run about 20 years ago, started 20 years ago by the National Eye Institute. So this is sort of the, you know, from the National Institute of Health, like a very credible group of researchers wanted to find out, could we prevent vision loss, right? Very important in an aging population, right? Because, you know, people are working at an older age now, and if you can't see, you can't work. And so your productivity and quality of life go way down. And by the way, the other reason to protect vision has to do with the fact that our eyes allow us to be independent. As we get older, we all want to be independent. We want to do our own thing. Can't see. You can't be independent. You can't even take your own medicines, right? And if you need if you need them as an older person. So protecting vision was a big priority. So what was discovered is that there are dietary supplements that are made of the same things you can find in foods. Zeaxanthin, lutein, carotenoids, okay, and I'll come to the foods in a second, that when given to people in their 60s and 70s and 80s can dramatically reduce the risk of vision loss from macular degeneration. Amazing, right? So here's a dietary supplement that actually works. And there's so much hubris about the, 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 the salesmanship of dietary supplements. If you, if you ever wanted to find one supplement to trust, it's the one that had the largest clinical trial to preserve your vision. It's called ARIDS, A-R-E-D-S. I don't get paid by any companies doing any of this stuff. I'm just telling you the facts, the data is really convincing. It is recommended for people, frankly, over the age of 50 to take once a day in order to be able to protect their vision. But here's the thing. The stuff in errands is really, you know, some vitamins, there's lutein, there's zeaxanthin. These are these chemicals that I just mentioned, zeaxanthin and lutein. These are natural chemicals that mother late nature has laced into foods. What are some of the foods? watercress, kale, broccoli, red bell peppers, uh, persimmons, uh, 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 tomatoes. You get these same type of natural bioactives just from the foods that we can eat. So, you know, this whole idea of plant-based foods, which is a generalization, we can be more specific. Of carrots, red bell peppers, kale, uh, leafy greens like watercress. Those actually contribute to uh, blood vessel health for your eye, to, to lower the risk that you might have blood vessels going out of control. They tame the lion. And the other thing that they actually do is they also, because you're eating them, they go into the bloodstream, they also affect your brain. They also protect and tame circulation to ensure better brain circulation as well, better blood flow to the brain. Doctor, William Lee has just shared some fascinating insights about the potential of preventing vision loss through focused dietary choices. He discussed how dietary supplements, specifically the ARDS formulation, have been shown to prevent macular degeneration, a condition that is commonly recommended for people over 50 years old. But here's an intriguing twist. These powerful chemicals are naturally found in our foods. So, could eating the right foods provide the same benefits as these supplements? According to Dr. Lee, the answer is yes. Next, Dr. Lee will continue to delve deeper into the foods that can help prevent vision loss and enhance eye health. Stay tuned as we explore more about how you can incorporate these nutrient-rich foods into your diet to protect your vision naturally. Are you using your night vision vision? <laughs> foods 
are uh, really important because we can also protect the blood vessels directly. So there are foods that there's a substance in strawberries called elagic acid that we know um, actually can prevent abnormal blood vessels from growing. They're blood vessel tamers. And when you actually have elagic acid uh, from a strawberry, elagic acid is what makes strawberries tart. Okay. Um, and if you get organic strawberries, um, uh, they actually have higher levels. And the reason is because the strawberry plant naturally makes elagic acid as a response to being nibbled on by bugs. So this is Mother Nature's wound healing response. So when you grow naturally, the strawberry is going to have more elagic acid. When you eat an organic strawberry grown naturally, you're going to get more of this blood vessel protective response. Recently, it's been shown by a group at University of Cincinnati that eating just one cup of ripe strawberries per day for six weeks. This is published in a research uh, uh, journal. Actually, uh, in, in middle-aged people who uh, had mild cognitive deficits, right? Not full-blown end-stage dementia, but mild. You know, like, where are my keys? So I, I'm sorry, what is that again? You know, the improved memory, improved memory, strawberries, one cup against the placebo, it reduced the depression and frustration of not being able to remember things. And it actually improved the score, the cognitive executive functioning score, all because of the elagic acid and another bioactive we think called anthocyanin uh, as well. So again, you know, we're beginning to tease apart. Like I always tell people, uh, don't worry about the chemical names. Don't worry about remembering all the details. I like people like me who study food as medicine and I write about this in my book. Let me do the heavy lifting for you. Let me tell you that what we're beginning to understand is that some specific plant-based foods are actually able to protect our blood vessel, protect our vision, and what's good for our eyes or good for our brain. So you get a twofer, a double-barreled approach to overall better quality of life and protected function. Dr. William Lee has just highlighted the incredible benefits of protecting our blood vessels, particularly through the consumption of strawberries. He explained how elagic acid in strawberries helps prevent the formation of abnormal blood vessels, which is crucial for maintaining overall eye and brain health. He also emphasized the importance of choosing organic strawberries, as they contain higher levels of these beneficial compounds. In a recent study conducted by the University of Cincinnati, participants who consumed one cup of strawberries a day for six weeks showed significant improvements in memory reduce symptoms of depression and frustration, and better cognitive function. This is attributed to the powerful combination of elagic acid and anthocyanins found in strawberries. Next, Dr. Lee will introduce us to his Grand Slam Foods, those that pack a powerful punch in promoting overall health and preventing disease. Stay tuned as we dive into these nutritional powerhouses and learn how to incorporate them into our daily diets. Now, if you want sort of what I call a Grand Slammer Foods, these are foods that do not just one thing, but they do multiple things uh, to light up your life, okay, light up your health, including vision, including brain health, including heart health, including muscle function. If you're trying to be fit and you're working out and you want better muscles, you need to regenerate your muscles, you need better blood flow. So I like to, I'm going to give three grand slamming foods that I think are just winners. Number one, tea, all right? Tea is the second most commonly drank beverage in the world. I, I have one as well, okay? Uh, and we used to think that green tea was like the best. Probably is, but recent research has shown that green tea, oolong tea, black tea, even super fermented tea like uh, pu'er tea, which is a, a tea from Southwest China, all light up your health. Better for gut health, better for circulation, better for brain health, lowers depression, improves your blood pressure. Amazing uh, uh, but scientifically shown and clinically shown benefits. So tea is one category to add in your life. Um, by the way, don't add sugar to your tea, all right? If you're going to put sweeteners, you can use honey, you can use sort of more natural sweeteners. Just don't dump chunk lots and lots of, of uh, uh, cane sugar uh, into it. Um, uh, and, and dairy too. I'm giving you some fine points here. Uh, milk in your tea, the afternoon tea, have a little milk or cream to your tea. A lot of people like that. Look, yeah, the polyphenols in the tea, the catechins that are good for us, that's what lights up your life. They get caught in the little soap bubbles that, that dairy, cow dairy actually forms in tea. These are invisible soap bubbles. You can't see them. But chemically, they form soap bubbles. When you drink it, actually, um, the, the, the good stuff, the gavikins, actually are still stuck in the bubble, and they just go right through your stomach. And so you only absorb maybe 30% of the good stuff. The rest of it just kind of tumbles out of you. 
All right. And so if you want to get the most, I always talk about getting the most out of whatever effort you're doing. If you hold back on the dairy, nut milk is okay. It's the cow milk that actually forms those bubbles. So almond milk, soy milk, all those are fine if you want to cut it. Um, uh, that's a to tea or something to include. Second, berries. I'm, kind of, I'm using berries as a category. So you get to choose your own. Strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, lingonberries. You pick your huckleberries. Pick your own wherever you are. They are tiny but powerful because the bright colors, the blues, the reds, the oranges are all made with, are all caused by, and, and, the, and the amazing flavors that, that pop out of a ripe berry is actually made with, uh, is, is caused by these bioactives, but polyphenols, the elagic acid, the anthocyanins that really, really light up your health in all kinds of different ways. And by the way, for berries, here's something practical. Look, I'm a big believer in going to the farmer's market and buying the seasonal fresh berries. But here's the thing. You can actually get frozen berries, which are less expensive, and you can buy them in bulk and store them in your freezer, and easier to deal with, okay? And they have the same bioactive value. And you're good. So second, berries. Choose your own. They're all good. Fresh or frozen, I'd still recommend that you go for those. Now that you have some room because you removed other things. Third thing that I would actually tell you is brassica which is a category of vegetable, all right? If you're in Asia, that'd be bok choy, gai lan. These are all the kinds of very common. If you go to your local Asian grocery store, almost all the fresh greens in the produce section are going to be brassica, all right? Um, but if you're on the other side, the Mediterranean, which you also know is a super healthy way of eating, you're talking about your broccoli, you're talking about your black kale, the cow, Tuscan kale, the cavallanero. You're talking about your cauliflower, um, all kinds of different types of greens of different sorts. Great source of dietary fire, great source of bioactives that actually light up your brain health and light up um, your blood vessel, your vascular health, and light up your immune health while lowering inflammation. And you get to choose from the repertoire of Mediterranean recipes going back generations or the repertoire of Asian recipes to be able to find ways to take the salad bar, which I find one of the most boring things that you can actually encounter, and to turn it into something that you would actually look forward to. Dr. William Lee has just revealed his three Grand Slam foods, each with unique and powerful health benefits. First up is tea. Dr. Lee emphasizes the importance of drinking tea without adding sugar or cow's milk to preserve its natural health properties. Tea is packed with antioxidants and can support overall well-being when consumed correctly. Next on the list are berries. These nutrient-dense fruits are not only delicious, but also incredibly versatile. Dr. Lee offers a practical tip. Keep frozen berries on hand so you always have access to their nutritional benefits. Berries are rich in vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, making them a fantastic addition to any diet. Finally, we have brassica vegetables, which include bok choy, broccoli, and cauliflower. These veggies are renowned for their cancer-fighting properties and their ability to support overall health. Incorporating a variety of brassica vegetables into your meals can significantly boost your nutrient intake. Next, Dr. Lee will sum up his insights and share final thoughts on how these foods can be easily integrated into your daily routine to maximize their health benefits. Stay tuned for his concluding remarks and practical advice. How's your vision? Can you see okay? To eating because it really, really tastes great. So the three things I would say, tea, berries, and this whole brassica side that you'd find in the produce section of either the Mediterranean market, a grocery store, or the Asian market. And now there's no excuse not to be able to find something green that you'd like to eat. Dr. William Lee has just highlighted the incredible benefits of his Grand Slam foods, emphasizing their variety and global availability. With so many options, there's no excuse not to incorporate these foods into your diet to support your brain and vision health. From tea and berries to brassica vegetables, these nutrient-rich foods are accessible and easy to find, making it simple to eat for better health. Next, Dr. Lee will share his mission and the driving force behind his dedication to promoting health through nutrition. Stay tuned to learn more about his inspiring goals and how he aims to empower people around the world to take charge of their health through the power of food. What my mission is, is to really uh, uh, absorb all this explosion of information. And I sort of put it through the truth filter, the data filter. I, I filter out the BS, the stuff that kind of like is 
rumor, hearsay, urban legend. And I try to take the good stuff, the gold. And then I want to, my mission is to get it out to as many people as possible. And because I like to cook, I like to do things in ways that people can actually put into their kitchen and do something with the same way that I would every day, every day. Dr. William Lee has shared his mission to empower us with knowledge, ignite our passion for cooking, and integrate healthy eating into our daily lives. By understanding the power of food as medicine, we can take charge of our health and well-being like never before. Whether it's savoring a cup of tea, indulging in berries, or relishing the goodness of brassica vegetables, Dr. Lee's insights have shown us how simple dietary choices can impact our longevity and vitality. Thank you for joining us on this journey of discovery and transformation. Remember, your health begins with what you put on your plate. Stay tuned for more empowering content from Dr. William Lee. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates. Until next time, take care and eat well. I have excellent vision. Well, vision changes. Please consider giving us a thumbs up, sharing this video with your friends and family, and subscribing to our channel for more valuable content on health and wellness. Your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life. Thank you for watching. And as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth and happiness, with the key to vitality in your hands.